Thank you, there's a record morning to you and uh, viewers. Um, just to paint a picture, the answer there would be yes. I can just tell you that about 108 in total suspected illegal mine workers appeared in court. Of course, this is for two separate incidents. I will just break them down for you. But this really shows really how rife illegal mining is in the Stillfontein, Kuma, Okni, Klegsdorp area. Now, just to break down this, um, the number. As I said, 108 uh, suspects appeared in court today. In actual fact, the other batch is still just um, before the magistrate as we speak. You would remember that just in October, about 89 suspects were arrested for illegal um, mining. And just during that day, there was a shootout between the suspects and the police where six suspects were killed and one police official injured. That those suspects who were arrested on that day were arrested and has been in custody ever since. They appeared in court today as well and of course this was not their first appearance. Um, we heard from the court that the delay has been with the attorney of uh, the accused that is who was uh, named as attorney Mufukeng. We understand hearing from the court, the NPA and the Hawks that he has not been coming before the court to represent um, his clients. In actual fact, the first 15 batch, because of the space, really the 80 not coming before the magistrate all at once, the first 15 batch confirming that Mr. Mufukeng will no longer be their attorney and they will have to seek for a new legal representative. That was uh, That is the separate case at Desre. Before the magistrate, as we speak, they are coming in badges of 15, which will be totaling 288 suspects who were arrested just last year. To come back to those who were arrested on Monday, those are 20 suspects also arrested for similar um, offence and similar charges. You would know that some of the charges, there is conspiracy to commit robbery to wheat gold, uh, possession of prohibited uh, firearm, possession of ammunition as well as contravention of the Immigration Act. Now when we get to this case of those that were arrested on uh, Monday, Desre, we saw the minister yesterday here in uh, Stillfontein, but I can tell you now that the, co the case has been postponed to um, the 15th of October, that is next week, uh, Monday, to allow a profiling, the profile of the accused to be accessed by the state as well as to ascertain the immigration status of uh, some of uh, the suspects. You would know that the 13 of them are from uh, Lesotho, five from South Africa and one each from Eswatini and Zimbabwe. Uh, the state was saying there that they do not have their profiles at the moment, including those that are South Africans. They do not have their addresses. The interesting part is that uh, we were told that 20 was arrested on Monday. Coming to court today, we learned that it's actually 21. The last one was also arrested on Monday, but what is quite uh, astonishing, perhaps, if I can use that word, is the fact that we had no information about him. We understand that the Hawks will only release an information about him today, regardless of uh, the fact that he was also arrested on Monday, but we understand that he was not arrested at the shaft itself. Now, you know, interesting questions rising up there. Could he be a kimping? Could he be one of those that were working with uh, the suspects? But that is the, state, the stance as far as the, the merits of uh, the case, as far as those concerned uh, as arrests of, that took place on Monday by the Hawks, postponed to next week Monday to allow access of profiles and to ascertain the immigration status. Now when we get to the accused, now the accused would be the 88 I spoke of earlier on, the case is still ongoing, but with the first 15 batch Desre, which the magistrate allowed the media to sit in just to listen as they will repeat exactly what happened with the first batch is that it has been postponed to the 15th of November. Really, difference between the two separate cases being a month with this one, just to allow them to get a legal representative. They will all remain in custody as they are pending their bail application. I know really it really do sound a bit, um, if one can say, uh, a bombarding to a viewer, but this is really um, a picture 
of the northwest province. As far as illegal mining activities are concerned, Desre, the Hawks Minister of Police, Begikele, is saying that they are working hard to ensure that they keep illegal mining activities here in the northwest province. One of the five with this issue, this would be northwest, will be Gauteng, Mpumalanga, Limpopo, as well as Free State, Desre. Deboho, just a, as an effort at further clarification, you're talking about the incorporation of uh, all these other suspects who were arrested earlier. Uh, what are the factors that uh, will make the arrest of this particular batch of 21, as you say, more urgent? The fact that they were arrested uh, with that stash of am ammunition and really dangerous uh, weaponry, does it... Uh, does it render them being treated differently? Um, that's really, uh, I wouldn't say that, given the fact that um, the Hawks will be conducting these operations, really uh, seeking to curb this illegal mining activities here in the province. Now, the 20 that was arrested, um, with just more than 20, if one can say, different types of weapons, six thousand rounds of ammunition when you compare the first 20 to the 88 that is currently before the magistrate as well they were also found with uh, weapons in fact one of the charges they are facing there is um, six counts of murder as i had indicated earlier on that in actual fact six of the suspects or were murdered were killed on that day as there was a shootout which ensued between the suspects and the police and uh, the charges are similar, uh, Desre, and one would say that given the fact that this is one um, courthouse but two different courtrooms, it would be interesting to see just next month on the 15th, the, as the case has now the case has been remanded to the 15th, just pre-trial conference, just to see if they will get representation and it will be interesting to look at both these cases simultaneously as they both go on at the same court, just different days and of course uh, there's a different um, suspects here but the important factor to highlight here is the charges the the offense being similar and majority of of course this suspects being foreign nationals of course as i indicated there are south africans as well there so these charges of course will include as well the contravention of immigration act if indeed the asset once they ascertain their immigration status it indeed is proven that they are in the country illegally